Welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing out top rated face mask sold on Amazon. Today we have an N95 respirator. This is the Ben Hall MS. 8225. It is a 20-pack. On the box, it comes with the NIOSH Proof logo along with the manufacturer and the approval number. On the bottom of the box, it comes with the expiration date along with the lot number, which is 6021103. So let's go ahead and jump into the listing before we try them on. Here is the Ben Hall listing. This mask is currently sitting at a 4.3 out of 5 rating. And if we scroll down, you can see the price, which is $24.96, $1.25 per mask. Here is the seller. This is also the person that we got it off of. I have not seen this in a lot of listings. They provide you with a NIOSH test report. So it basically provides you with the filtration resistance and your leak percentage and then it says overall results that it passed. We're going to see if this mask passed our TSI machine test. Scrolling down, we also have the NIOSH approval. This is a website where it provides you with all the approved NIOSH and 95 respirators, which I will be linking down below too if you guys want to do your research. So this provides you with the manufacturer's name along with the model and the approval number. So let's go ahead and open the box and see how the mask looks. This is how it looks when you open it up. It comes with a certificate. One thing that I have noticed while doing these mask reviews is that, yes, it's good that they are individually wrapped, but also I feel like I've been getting a lot of more plastic smell and that could be due because it's wrapped in plastic. Just by looking at it, the mask does feel like it's very well constructed. It does provide provide us with the N95 requirements, which is the brand, this is Ben Hall, the NIOSH approval stamp along with the TC approval number. Mask also provides you with a nose foam, which basically helps you have a better seal. And from the inside, it does seem like the material is very soft. It does also have this very interesting attachment. On the listing, it does say that it's an attachment so that you can adjust the elastic better. This attachment can also help the headbands be a little more secure because we're pulling it and it's not going to come off. So let's go ahead and put it on my face and see how it fits. This is actually very big on my face, but it does have the attachment. So we're going to see if I'm going to be I'm going to be able to adjust it. So this is how it looks on right now. Like I said, it is very loose on my face. It doesn't have a bad smell. I can't really describe the smell. I don't know. It, it, it does definitely have a smell, but it's not a bad smell. When it comes to the seal, I do feel like it is providing a good seal. But like I said, let me let me adjust the straps because I do feel it a little loose on the face. Let me see if I can adjust both sides. Oh wait. Um, I was trying to adjust the straps. And it just kind of came off on this side. Now I have a loose head strap on here. Fits pretty well. Oh, it just came off. But yeah, it just popped off and it's because of the little loop here on the attachment. So with all that being said, let's go and see if these pass our filtration test with our TSI machine. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle filtration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the band before placing it to the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. Let's go over the results. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the face mask or respirator is. P stands for penetration percentage. As shown, the penetration percentage of this respirator is 1.07%, which is equivalent to 98.93% filtration efficiency. So we're back and they did pass a filtration test. When it comes to comfort, I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. It is a really comfortable mask. It's just I don't really feel like it ever actually sat well on my face. When it came to the fit, obviously when I first put it on, it fit a little big, but I was able to adjust it. I don't know if I didn't do it correctly because as you guys saw, the little strap just kind of came off. That would just lead on to the quality and construction. I feel like the quality is really nice, but this just kind of threw me off the little attachment and then 
my little headband coming off. I probably would give that like a 7 out of 10. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, please know that this is just my experience with the face mask. Everyone's experience could be very different. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below any suggestions that you guys have. I did receive a comment a few days ago for a face mask that sold on Walmart and they claim to be a 95. I will be doing that video pretty soon. So just keep on commenting down below any suggestions you guys want, any face mask you would like me to try out next. And also don't forget to check the description box down below. We will have our website along with many more important information. So please don't forget to look at that description box. I will see you guys in our next video.